uh, congratulations to Chris and, and that group. Uh, and I think uh, Kate has showed why he's MVP of our league. Uh, we knew that coming in. Uh, it's a very, very difficult matchup for us. We don't have tremendous size on the on the perimeter. We were worried a great deal about him getting to his spots, uh, his sweet spots. Uh, and uh, but uh, interesting first half. Uh, I, I'm I'm frustrated with our first half because we, we get up I think 15, and it's just playing unselfish and moving the basketball and play, playing really good basketball. To be quite honest, and uh, uh, taking them out of what they want to do, they hurt us with one little cross screen play. But um, and then it was just like we we uh, we made a few threes and we fell in love with the three. And uh, you know we forgot who LeBron is, um, and uh, uh, we've got to be we've got to be better at that. Uh, we had Trent foul trouble. Uh, that was uh, that was a that was a factor in the first half. I'm proud of him because it's very hard to get going again in the second half when you're when you're not in the mix uh, for the first half. But uh, uh, and then I thought in the second half we, we fought, we competed, we fell behind, uh, we, we came back. Uh, but it's been kind of a common theme with us is um, the last three and a half four minutes of a game. Uh, I think they had four field goals. Somebody told me with. Uh, through the first 14 or 15 minutes, I feel good about our defense. But yet, there's some silly fouls in there. And, and uh, but uh, uh, Tijon missed two free throws. Mark missed one of the two technicals. But you know, on the second free throw, then we commit a foul, uh, 94 feet away, and uh, uh, we followed that up with a foul at half court. We fouled that up with a rotation that left um, Kata wide open for a three. And um, you can't make those mistakes late. And he hadn't got a touch in seven minutes. He hadn't six, seven minutes. He had had a pretty good drought there. Um, and he does what a really, really good player does. And uh, uh, those are the things we've we've been doing. I feel bad for our guys. Um, they're we're fighting. We we're playing good enough basketball to win and beat anybody in this league. I believe that. And. Uh, uh, but it, a lot of credit to Chris and his group, and, and uh, Kate, it was everything that was advertised, and, and uh, uh, they're good. Coach, from your standpoint, just what sounds like maybe they did some different things the last 10 minutes of the first half defensively, just uh, they what didn't. They, they stayed, they didn't. They they stayed didn't. I mean, what they were doing. I'll, I'll look at the film, but uh, you know, one or two passes. And try to dribble drive it. They're very good defensively. We talk to our guys about we have to. We talk about early and late. We got to score early, or we got to score late. And every time we got the ball to the third side in the first half in the first run, we were great. We scored. Uh, and then all of a sudden, we just quit doing it. And and when we get in trouble, we quit passing. That's this team's downfall. We quit passing the ball. We start dribbling. And. Um, didn't matter what we did, what we called, we kept breaking them off and playing them up there. So we got to get better at that. Hey, at what point did you find out that Cam Williams was not going to start in the last day? Wasn't time for the game. I, that's, it was, I don't know, whenever somebody presented me a um, release on, somebody showed me something on Twitter or something, I guess. And how much does a uh, well, it's probably much worse for Chris and his crew. Uh, I don't think anybody really likes uh, those kind of distractions when you're when you're one of the best teams in the country and you're fighting for a Big Ten title. I think distractions become a pretty big pain in the neck. Um, for us, it, it was curious. We were curious to see who they started. We felt like it would be either Doc each or or Wesson. And so, uh, you know, there's minor adjustments to be to be made there. But we substitute quite frequently, so we had multiple guys ready to guard different guys. And and uh, so, at the end of the day, probably much bigger distraction for Chris and his crew to have to deal with a distraction like that. Right. Don't score for the last ten minutes of the first half, but only trailed by four at halftime. I mean, just what was kind of you know, your thoughts there? And did, even just down forward, did that suck the life out of the team a little bit? Oh no, shoot, we were doing backflips. We were doing backflips in the locker room. I mean, hell, you go 10 minutes without scoring against them, and you're only down four? 
Um, I mean, it, it was frustrating because it's it's something we've got to we've got to continue to grow from. Um, and again, when we play the right way and play our way, we're really a good basketball team. And to, to get away from that, uh, I get it. Trent was out of the game. Uh, majority of that time, I even tried to insert him with two and took a gamble. Um, but uh, uh, you know, we've got to get we've got to get Laurent the ball. We've got to get the ball where we want it. We've got to fight to do that, and and, and we did. And we settled, and uh, and then on top of that, there was no offensive rebounding, which is uh, a mate. That's a that's a spur in my shorts right now. Is, is uh, our lack of offensive rebounding, how we can be one of the best teams in the country, and, and we're just not doing it.